Appreciative Strategies Human Performance Improvement Solutions Appreciative Strategies provide soft skill training in topics such as leadership and supervision, communications, and group dynamics. Hello, I'm Dennis Gilbert, President of Appreciative Strategies. This short video segment is targeted to explore at least one reason why generational diversity training may be appropriate for your organization. Does your organization have employees ranging in age from 18 years old to 55 to 60 to 65 or even older? Does your organization count on its successful operations or successful interactions of employees across those age groups? If you answered yes to these questions, then generational diversity training may be appropriate for your organization. Recently, Appreciative Strategies published a LinkedIn poll to explore some network reactions to leadership skills. The poll did provide some interesting results based on leadership skills, but perhaps more importantly, it indicated some very interesting findings on generational diversity. Our poll question asked, what is the most important leadership skill during tough economic times? Possible reactions or responses were ability to manage change, effective communicator, motivating the team, strategic networking, and conflict management. The most interesting outcome from this poll was not the results of the leadership question, but was the reactions of the respondents based on age. Notice in the poll results that the younger respondents identified strategic networking as the most important leadership skill, with 100% in the 18 to 24 year old group and 14% in the 25 to 34 year old group. In contrast, motivating the team was the top response with 100% in the 55 plus age group. As this chart clearly demonstrates, there is a mixture of responses in the middle groupings. So what does this tell us? My assessment of these findings would indicate that there is a strong difference of opinions, values, and perhaps traditions as it relates to leadership performance in the younger age group when compared with the older age group. These findings support the idea of generational diversity gaps in our workplace, and they support the idea of targeted training interventions to help reduce or eliminate those gaps. Clearly, researchers could express some concerns about our findings. They could express concerns about a small sample size or other research limitations. However, the intent of our poll was not to provide a scientific study. The intent was to find some additional information about leadership skills and provide some network reactions to generational diversity issues. Clearly, while not a scientific study, these poll results are very informative. There are many training programs available today to address the concerns of a multi-generational workforce. At Appreciative Strategies, we offer three specific training programs, each with a different area of focus. The program titles are Workplace Age and Generation Diversity, Conflict in a Multi-Generational Organization, Communications for a Multi-Generational Workforce. More information on these programs can be found on our website. Thank you for taking the time to view this short video segment. I hope that it has provided some additional thoughts for you as you consider training interventions for yourself or for your organization. I'm Dennis Gilbert, wishing you the best success in the future. Thank you.